hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here what's up don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i post new videos every week so today we are back with another nail education one-on-one -on -one, and we are talking about all things skin disorders and diseases right now So you might be asking yourself, why do nail techs need to know about skin issues? Why should I care what's going on with my client's skin when my only job is to do their nails? But let me tell you, it's our jobs as nails technicians to recognize any adverse conditions that we see on our client's skin. So anything like inflammation, disease, and infectious skin disorders, and then we can be able to refer clients to a physician if need be. So let's back it up a little bit and just talk about what dermatology is. Dermatology is a study of skin, its structures, function, and diseases and treatments. A dermatologist is a physician who practices treatments with the skin. As nail technicians, we provide cleansing of the skin, hands, arms, and legs, and feet. So knowing about skin structure and the ability to identify any type of unhealthy conditions are very important. And we must always remember that we are never allowed to prescribe or provide treatment for any abnormal conditions, illness, or diseases. This is outside of our scope of practice as nail technicians. The skin is the largest organ in the body. So when it's healthy, it's slightly going to be moist, soft, flexible, and ideally smooth. Repeated pressure on any part of the skin is going to cause it to thicken and develop into a callus. But we have to remember that a callus is an important protective layer that's going to help prevent damage to that underlying skin. When working on pedicures or calluses, it's important to remember people who dance, do ballet, that are runners, etc. They need their calluses for support and without it, their feet would hurt when they do these activities. So it's very, very important that we always ask the client's preference before tending to this area. And again, a callus's job is to prevent the skin from damage and infection. So as a nail technician, we should just simply smooth and reduce calluses, but never remove it. Complete removal of a callus is actually considered a medical procedure and not in our scope of practice. So next time you're working on calluses, pay close attention when you are smoothing that area. You'll get to a point where a thin layer of protective skin is going to remain. This is the point to stop. You're going any further than this can possibly blister and damage the skin. In fact, if the area feels like new, soft, baby soft skin, you've actually removed too much. As a nail tech, you're going to come in contact with some skin disorders. So it's very important, again, to recognize certain common conditions and know what you can and cannot do with them. Some should only be treated by a medical practitioner. So it's important that you don't service the client who's suffering from any type of open wound or inflamed skin. So let's talk about some skin lesions. A lesion is a mark on the skin, and this can indicate any type of injury or damage that can change the structure of the tissues or organs. There are three types of lesions, but as nail techs, we're only concerned with primary and secondary lesions. So let's go into some of those right now. So some primary lesions can include a bulla, which is basically a large blister that's containing a watery fluid, a cyst, which is a closed abnormal developed sac containing fluid or pus, a macule, which is a spot or discoloration on the skin, such as a freckle. A papule is a pimple. A pustle is an inflamed pimple that's containing pus. Tubercle is an abnormal rounded solid lump, which is above, within, or underneath the skin, but it's larger than a papule. A vesicle, which is a small blister or sac containing clear fluid lying within or just beneath the epidermis and a wheel, which is an itchy swollen lesion that lasts only a few hours, which is usually caused by a blow, an insect bite, something like a hive or a mosquito bite. Next, we have some secondary lesions. So crust, which is dead cells that form underneath a wound or a blemish while it's healing. Excretion, a skin score or abrasion pronounced by scratching or scraping. 
fissure, a crack in the skin that penetrates deep into the dermis layer, like chapped hands or lips or feet, a keloid, which is a thick scar that's resulting from excessive growth of fibrous tissues, scales, which is a thin plate of epidermal flakes, dry or oily, and it could be like excessive dandruff, a scar, which is a light colored, slightly raised mark on the skin that's formed after an injury, an ulcer, which is an open lesion accompanied by pus or loss of any type of skin depth, and a hematoma, which is a collection of blood that is trapped underneath the nail. And lastly, let's talk about some skin inflammations that you might come in contact with. The first one is going to be dermatitis, which is an abnormal inflammatory condition of the skin. It comes in various forms, such as vesicles or papules. Eczema, which is an inflammatory, painful, itching disease of the skin. It could be acute or chronic in nature, presenting in many forms from flaky or dry, itchy skin to moist lesions. But eczema is not contagious, but it, and it can be treated with the biophysician. Psoriasis, which is a skin disease characterized by red patches covered with silver white scales, usually found on the scalp, elbows, knees, and chest and lower back. Psoriasis can affect the nail plates, causing them to develop surface pits, red spots on the nail bed, or other related symptoms. But it's also important to remember that if you come into clients that are experiencing any of these symptoms of inflammations of the skin, we can treat them, giving them any type of spa services or treatments, paraffin wax, anything that'll help ease their pain, the inflamed skin, give it some moisturization would definitely help. So don't be afraid to give spa services to these type of clients. I hope this video was helpful to you. So you know now, next time you see someone in any type of skin condition or disease, we know how to treat it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe guys, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.